I don't know about you, but I struggle with maintaining our home. Like, how often should I dust? Or wash the walls? Or pull out all the appliances in the kitchen? Growing up, my mom used what we call house cards. And it basically is a breakdown of all the cleaning and maintenance tasks you need to keep up with your home. She would print out the house cards for us and we would complete tasks in our assigned zone. For my bedroom, it included tasks like cleaning under the bed and cleaning out the dresser and turning the mattress. All of these things are important and this gave me the tool I needed so that I knew exactly what she was wanting with a clean room. We have lived in this home for just over five months at this point. And this house <laughs> is so much larger than anything we've ever lived in in our entire marriage. <laughs> and unfortunately, over the last three years, this home has had very little maintenance. My in-laws were aging and sick and it, it was just too difficult for them to keep up with. So for the first few months we lived here, we had a cleaner coming in about once a month to help us catch everything up and allow us time to get settled and grieve a little more. But recently we decided that it was time for us to kind of grow up and learn to maintain the home ourselves. If this is gonna be our forever home, we need to learn how to take care of it. Now I will be honest, <laughs> the first couple weeks of transitioning into us taking care of things ourselves, I have struggled to get into a groove. There's hairballs floating around. We're just trying to make do and figure it out. I seriously feel like I'm running around and never accomplishing anything. I was thinking, how will I ever keep up? I want my husband to be able to come home after work and not have to worry that the house is a mess or unkempt or that there's something that he needs to do. I just want him to be able to sit down, relax, and enjoy each other's company. And I desperately want that for our home now. And that's when it hit me. House cards. My mom had sent me the file for her house cards all the way back in 2011. <laughs> so I went on a mission and went digging through all my old emails until I found this file. I then spent a couple of nights updating it and making it match our needs. I added sheets for rooms that we have that she doesn't. I changed the name of some rooms because they're different things in our home compared to hers. I even updated some of the tasks to being a little bit more frequent um, based on our allergies and having pets in our home. The really cool thing about this file is that she had it as an Excel file where it would auto-populate the next date that it was due. So each task was assigned a timeline, whether that be weekly, monthly. So mattresses need turned twice a year. So if I put in today's date of 10 21 22. It'll auto populate for April 19th of 23. And today we are going to tackle the front dining room. It's a small room, but it'll be a good way to start and dip my toes in and start this process. It is going to take me several weeks to get through all these tasks, but I am doing it kind of room by room because things haven't been maintained in so long. That way I can know everything's been done. Um, and then in the meantime, I am gonna start doing the daily tasks and the weekly tasks along with the rooms that I'm completing so that I don't get behind in those and I build a good habit. And then once all of these tasks have been completed, they will then be on a good rotational schedule and I will know when I need to complete them next. First, I'm going to gather all of my cleaning tools. This way when I'm completing tasks, I'm not getting distracted trying to retrieve some cleaner or rag or something else. I just want to get it all 
out and ready to go. So I need my dusting solution, my glass cleaner, my vacuum with a crevice and um, brush attachment. I need the floor roller, foam roller, because it's a hard floor. I need my mop and my mop bucket. I need some Tide powder for a cleaning solution that I use. I need rags, and I can't forget my step stool because I am short and I need to be able to reach. When cleaning a space, I like to clean left to right, top to bottom, dry to wet. That way we're not making mud puddles, that way we're not causing dust to fall on surfaces once they're already cleaned. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the table linens because they do have to go into the laundry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that washing. Then I'm going to pull down the fan globe so that I can wash it with hot soapy water. It has dust and bugs and gross. <laughs> so let's get that clean so it can dry. Then I'm going to place my plants in the sink so that I can water them and they can sit there and soak up some water while we're cleaning and they're out of the way. Then I'm going to wipe down our chairs and their legs and get all the dog hair off of them and set them in the other room so that I have a little more space to work while I'm in the dining room. After completing that, then I uh, wipe down the table and legs similarly and move it also to the other room. Then I dust all the pictures and any kind of wall decor and I like to pull those down and get behind them and then set them on the table out of the way so that I can dust and wash the walls. Next, I'm going to take my duster around the ceiling of the room um, to get any loose cobwebs or dust, especially on these columns, it, they seem to attract them. Um, and then after I get that, I take my duster on down the wall, um, again, left to right, top to bottom. Then I dust the entire china cabinet. I recently cleaned it out, so all it needs is the glass cleaned and a light dusting today. I then use my step stool and climb up and clean the fan blades and the um, body of the fan and the light bulbs. And then while I'm up there, you may not be able to see it, but I switched the direction of the fan because we are heading into winter. The globe is now dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and return it so it doesn't get broken. Now I'm going to dust the baseboards with my vacuum with the brush and crevice attachment. Um, and while I'm down here, I'm also going to clean the return vent. Um, having dogs with long hair it's almost a daily thing to have to clean this return vent because this is where the hair gets sucked into and unfortunately ours is in the floor. And now that the room has been completely dusted and all the dust is on the floor, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the floor. To clean my walls, I like to take really hot water and add about a tablespoon of some Tide powder detergent. Um, I have found that this is the best way to get the walls really clean, remove fingerprints, remove some scuffs, things like that, and it overall leaves the room smelling really fresh. So again, I will start at the top and work my way down. I even use this solution on my baseboards and if there is a stain or it's really dirty then I'll grab a magic eraser if needed. Um, I was noticing though that these baseboards are pretty well scuffed and from wear and tear over the years um, and so probably this spring I'm gonna go ahead and give these all a good coat of paint but for now they're good enough. 
I then filled my mop bucket with really hot water. I have the O Cedar um, spin mop, so I don't need any solution or anything to clean my floors. And I have found that if I use a solution, it just leaves them sticky anyway. Um, so I then mop my floor. Once it's dry, then I put back all the plants and the table and the chairs. The runner is still being washed, so I'll put that back as soon as it's done. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the decorations back so they don't get broken. <laughs> now that the room is finished, let's admire how good it looks. It's amazing what a little bit of elbow grease and some soapy water will do for a space. Now that it's complete, I'm going to go back to the file. I'm going to insert all those dates so that it will auto-populate exactly when I need to do these tasks again. I have been working on a file um, so that if you wanted a chance to do these house cards, you could. You could adapt them to your space, put in your own dates, your own tasks, things like that. Let me know if that would be something you would be interested in in the comments below. If you liked today's video, you should watch this one where I show you how to make my two favorite cleaning solutions, including the dusting solution I use today. Until next time, bye.